Angelica. I sure did. Uh, <laughs> I don't have a ticket, so. <laughs> and I was feeling lucky, too. <laughs> we'll have to wait, maybe tomorrow. Yes. Alrighty, as we look at the conditions outside, it is cloudy, but it's 67 degrees. It is a cool evening in San Diego. Humidity levels are high, so it feels a little bit muggy out there. That's why you can see we're looking at 100% relative humidity in Alpine, and there's a chance for drizzle as we go into tonight. Some of you probably already have some drizzle as we speak. The marine layer is deepening, and I'll show you why in a second. Upper level moisture is also going to be accompanied by some smoke, and then Santa Ana winds are going to be back later this week. The temperatures are in the upper 50s right now in Ramona, 60 Alpine, 64 El Cajon, and 62 in Poway. In Oceanside, 66 degrees tonight. We have 80s near our desert, 60 degrees in Mount Laguna. Look at, look, look at the clouds extending from the coast all the way inland. Those clouds are getting heavier as we go into the overnight hours with moisture eventually coming down. As the clouds become saturated, we get that drizzle. It'll happen into tomorrow morning. So as you get ready for that morning commute, just be ready for more drizzle. To the north, we have a storm system. To the east, there is another one in between a very strong onshore flow and that deepening marine layer that will continue to trigger areas of drizzle tomorrow morning as well as into the evening hours. But in between, we should be able to see some sunshine. I think the only spot that may stay mostly cloudy will be coastal communities. Wednesday, we'll have another chance. After that, it's going to be all about warmer weather. The winds are also getting stronger in the mountains and deserts, gusting at times over 20 miles per hour. They could easily go up to 35 miles per hour. Then later this week, we'll be shifting the winds. The winds will be out of the east northeast. That's going to bring back Santa Ana conditions with warmer temperatures and a threat for fire danger. That'll be on Thursday when we will be looking at the strongest Santa Ana winds. The humidity will be dropping and is just going to be very dif different later this week. As a matter of fact, we'll see low 70s tomorrow at the coast by Friday. 82 degrees with mid 80s expect it to stick around into the weekend inland communities will have another comfortable day in the mid to upper 70s just be mindful the numbers are still below average by 5 to 10 degrees so we'll be closer to normal on thursday but then on friday coming back to the 90s and staying there through the weekend with highs around 96 degrees on saturday so it'll take a couple of days to get there, but it's going to be much warmer in the mountains. Hazy skies. It'll become mostly sunny with temperatures right around 68 degrees. 70s Wednesday later in the week, closer to 80 degrees and very similar conditions also into the weekend. So as we go throughout the week, it's just going to gradually warm up. And then by Friday, it's just going to be hot all over the county in the deserts. 93 degrees tomorrow with temperatures about four degrees below average summer by the weekend. Yes. Thank you, Angela.